You might remember Lena Contour. She spoke with us last month about raising funds to bring her mother to the United States. She wanted to get her out of the devastation going on in Ukraine. Eyewitness News 3 reporter Cole Sams spoke with her this afternoon to hear how those funds also helped her in the relief effort. For the past few months, Lena Contour has been raising money to get a visa for her mother from Ukraine to the United States. But when friends told the Pocatello woman they needed to go to Poland to help refugees, she thought she could use the money another way. They didn't speak uh, Polish or Ukrainian or Russian, and I speak Russian and Ukrainian, and I'm learning Polish, so that came useful. And so they asked me to accompany them and to be their interpreter. Contour says many refugees are women and children who are worried they will get picked up for sex trafficking. Ultimately, she wanted to use her translation skills to help in any way she could. We would always drive with a van full of something, usually suitcases, bags, uh, water, rain jackets, and we would deliver them there at the border, and then we would bring a van full of people back to a city. And we did it every single day <laughs> for about three weeks. She said she heard firsthand accounts of the horrors her people had experienced. She said they did not take shower for 16 days. She said we, they couldn't even take shoes there just so they feet could feel a little bit better, you know, after wearing shoes. She said we could not take them off because everyone would die, you know from the smell. She said family in front died from the bomb and family behind and they had to step over their bodies and they saw parts flying all over, parts, you know, body parts and that's all her children saw and they had to keep moving. And just two days before returning home, Contour got the chance to give mom a big old hug. It was a fun reunion. It was, um, yeah, it was really nice to see her. But Contour says she won't ever forget the heartbreak of the trip. They're so traumatized and I could, that was the hardest part for me being there is to, hearing their stories and what they went through and it's really happening. This is even worse than what they're showing. As for bringing mom here, Contour says it is still a complicated process that will require multiple overseas trips in order to bring her home. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Cole Sams. For more information on how you can assist Lena in her efforts, you can visit our website at localnews3now.com. You think about all the stuff we don't get to see. I mean, we only get to see little snippets of their Yeah, like she says, yeah. you're not seeing it on TV, the, the first-hand accounts. Even the stuff you're seeing on BBC or CBS News, it just doesn't really, it's yeah. just scraping the surface. Yeah. You know.